Hey guys, so Bomb Hart here. So for today's video, got another coil spring knife here that I'm making. Uh, and this one I have dubbed the Redemption Skinner. Uh, so as I'm working on a knife, I usually kind of come up with a name for it to kind of differentiate it from the other knives that I'm working on. Uh, so this one has got a classic Skinner profile of blade, but it's also a knife that a lot of things went wrong during the making of. But I persevered through it and ultimately feel that I redeemed myself because I did end up uh, skinning a deer with it. So i um, not going to spoil all the surprises for you, so without further ado, we'll get the forge going. It's Viking time.
I'm just going to check the fit right quick here. So that's that's almost in place. Okay. So you can see, maybe just need to take a little more material out of this uh, the top bit there, and that should fit up real nice. Okay, I got a burr on there, so I'm gonna switch that over. All right, so I got the burr on the other side. So I'm going to switch this uh, work sharp over into its uh, sharpening mode because right now I'd just be pushing that burr back and forth. Okay, I got the knife all about as polished as I can make it and so what I'm going to try and do is a mustard patina so I got some regular old uh, household condiment uh, yellow mustard and I'm just going to put this on here and this should create a, uh, a patina so I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours see how it looks Got some steel wool here. Kind of has that Damascus steel look. Well, it looks like somebody was trying to make it look like Damascus. It wasn't really what I was going for, but it does look cool. I like that. I like that. Awesome. Okay, so I let the blade dry overnight, and now I've got it flipped around to the uh, the butt end. And I'll uh, fill in the rest of this with the the JB Weld, and I'll glue on the uh, the end cap here. All right, so here's what the uh, finished knife looks like. Got another. Uh, leather sheaths from my uh, Michael's Remnants bag. I've got two layers of a mustard patina on there. That uh, first layer came out really uh, clear and strong, but after you put the second one on there, it's a little uh, kind of muddier and darker. But uh, if you look, it's kind of a neat little pattern on there. I do like the way that that uh, turned out. So I got my uh, oak handle. This is from that log that I found up north and processed down, and then I used it for the uh, Farrier's Rasp knife, the Summer Solstice knife, 
uh, I think a few others, but it's just a couple layers of dark stain and some linseed oil. Came out really nice, just a, uh, you know, free range, uh, <laughs> free range wood grown out in the forest that, uh, you know, it's not a store bought handle stock, so I, I like that. But um, funny story with the, uh, the handle pin here. So when I decided that I wanted a handle pin uh, in the knife, I drilled out the handle and then when I went to go drill through the uh, the tang of the knife, I had already tempered and uh, or I had already quenched and tempered the blade. Uh, and so since it wasn't annealed, that drill bit would not go through. Um, so uh, rather than like redo the whole blade again, I already put the, uh, the finish on there and everything, put an edge on there. Uh, what I ended up doing was just um, having there's just two little bits of uh, brass on either side. So basically, I got a half pin on either side of this. So it's not truly pinned through uh, it's really just for looks but uh, I think it does look nice but just sort of a funny uh, story there uh, and also the uh, the blade centering isn't perfect on the handle unfortunately I thought I had it uh, fitted up nice when I was drilling it out but just the way that that glue set and everything the, the handle kind of bends off to the side this way so not a detriment when you're actually working with it but if this was something I was trying to sell I just don't think uh, people would be too pleased with that it came out nice and sharp. As I was saying in the uh, intro, I did use this to uh, actually skin uh, a deer that I shot this year and use it for the uh, meat processing uh, procedures. Uh, the uh, copper caps on the on the end and, and up front came out real nice, nice fit. Uh, but overall, you know, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out uh, after it's all said and done. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you kind of want to see uh, what's new at Blackheart Forge, I've got an uh, Instagram account now, so you can see photos of knives that I just finished up or works in progress uh, well before the, uh, the video comes out because I've got a bit of a uh, backlog due to the time it takes to uh, edit. As always, I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be more Viking.